The CBC declared that Portugal has solved its overdose crisis and Canada can learn how to deal with our opioid crisis from them. In fact, the government has already adopted the Portugal approach with no prior investigation and opioids are exploding out of control in Canada as a result. So let's check facts, something they did not bother to do. While filming a drug addict in downtown Toronto, two flight attendants working for the Portuguese airline asked me why there are so many zombies on the streets in Canada. So here in Toronto is much worse. Yes. And and you people said that the, the streets, yes. people, yes. many people in the streets in Toronto, and they are seem to be on a, like a different drug, a much stronger yes, drug like here. Zombies. It's yeah. strange. In Lisbon, they, Lisbon, they closed the park where the drug dealing was taking place. A neighborhood called Casal Ventoso. So what should Toronto do? What what can they do to fix this problem? Help the people in the street. I don't know. Have a program to help mm -hmm. them. So, so they, they should be them. treated, even if yeah. they if they don't agree to be treated, they have to treat them. Uh, I think so. They're dying. And it's bad for the people, f for the people that comes to to know Toronto for the first time. So all the tourists, yes, it looks tourists. really bad for for yes, tourism. Yes. Uh, so they need help. They don't. Uh, you can not uh, have them here alone like that. I also found a woman living in Porto in Portugal, a longtime drug addict that has a four-year-old child. I interviewed her. My addiction is different from the from fentanyl. Uh, in fact, fentanyl doesn't exist here in Portugal yet. Uh, only heroin. I don't know if it's um, if it's mixed with something because I don't smoke heroin. I only used to smoke cocaine. Okay. Crack. That's my addiction. So I I know uh, from going to the to the um, to the place where I, I buy the drugs. I, I see there people that uh, smoke uh, um, heroin, and uh, they they are very bad. You you know you've seen that. But um, in the the times that I, that I used to smoke heroin, I believe that it's the um, only heroin. But today, I believe that it's mixed with very bad shit, you know. Because, uh, some t Portugal, it's a small country, and uh, the majority of things um, take time to come here. Or, or, what I mean is, uh, if, it's, um, if it appears uh, in America, it takes uh, very years to come uh, to Portugal, you know what I mean? Because, uh, so I don't know if it's here already. I never heard of it. Uh, here in Portugal, no one talk about it. But in general, why don't we just then talk about like all illegal drugs and illegal yeah. drug use? Uh, By the the majority of people, the population that doesn't know what this disease is, uh, yes, we we are seen as bad people with no morals, criminals, and by the the professionals of health, I don't I don't think that that they are equipped. Uh, you know, for, for treating us. And they only let time pass, let the time pass and give us medication and a little of psychology and that's it. They don't care, in my opinion. Because uh, I'm addicted, um, it's been 12 years or more, and I've been in, very, in, in many institutions um, because of my addiction, and that's the opinion I have, they don't care. Okay, and so they have not been able to take you off of all of the drugs? Uh, no. And let's say over the last 10 years, have you seen that more people are using drugs or less? More, 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 more. Yes, more. So more people are using drugs in Portugal over the last 10 years? Yes, because the ones that were using 10 years ago, they're still there. And there are always more people, new, new young people coming. I coming. can see that. So that means yeah. that there's no program which uh, is removing more than the new ones coming in. Uh, no, I don't see that. So tre don't treatment that. Is, is not so good in Portugal uh, no. to get people off of drugs? No, no, no. In, in my opinion, in what I see, no. Um, no, there, there are uh, laws, there are um, things that are that are said, but in the in the in practice, no, that doesn't happen. Okay, so um, uh, now of the people that are selling the drugs, are they selling them openly? 
Yes, here in Porto. So in Porto, there are like supermarkets of drugs. Uh, there are two, I don't know how to, you say that in in uh, English, it's like neighborhoods. Yes. Uh, uh, where where people live, normal people live, the, the ones with the low, low income. Um, and there are, it, it's open, yes, it's very open. And there are five or ten people selling in the same place. Oh, okay. Uh, and do yes, do police there, arrest those dealers, or or are they do they just allow it to take place? It's the, it's like this: uh, the drug dealers are in one place, and there are and then there are very, um, other other guys. They are watching the police, and as the police arrives, they they say something, and they and the ones that have the the drugs they hide. So it's very difficult to to catch them. In fact. Um, in the place that sells more drugs, it's like a supermarket here in Porto. The police is uh, is is passing there a lot of times, but it's a thing. It's like a habit. Uh, how do you say this? Um, nothing changes. In many many years, they they are there selling. The one the other ones are controlling, and the police is there, and it's very difficult for them to catch, and it's very easy for us to buy. Okay. So and it's very easy also for us to to use the drugs uh, anywhere. So yeah. you can use it, and uh, and also you are not arrested. Uh, so the yeah. drugs are legal for you to use. Yes. Yes. Um, a, a little a little amount only. Uh, if it's a certain amount, it's okay for use. If it's uh, bigger than than that amount, uh, it can be. Um, uh, said that it's for traffic and they go to to the courts yeah so have you yeah. uh, of the dealers that you buy from uh, over the last five years uh, have you seen any of them become arrested uh, some yes some uh, um, sometimes uh, we go there and we we heard that that guy was uh, was caught or that guy was caught but they're not too many, and they they go for a lot of time before they get caught. Get caught because the police has to um, to manage to to investigate for a long time to see the best way to catch them. All right. They so so there's big big supply in Portugal, and also big demand and increasing demand for drugs, illegal yeah, drugs. Yeah. Especially crack. I I think uh, crack. It's uh, it's one thing that the users of heroin also use crack. Everyone here that uses drugs uses crack. And it became um, almost, it, the thing that they sell us almost don't have drug. It's a mixture, but we became addicted. So we're always there. They make a lot, a lot of money from crack. And, and so these drug dealers, are they part of organized criminal gangs or are they just individuals? They are small groups from that neighborhood. Um, yeah, I believe that um, they are families. Also, uh, they, they saw their father sell and then they were little, okay? And they, they saw from the, all their life uh, that, that life of drugs, uh, the, the, those kids. And then they become uh, sellers too, dealers too. Uh, that's how it works here in Portugal. And do you think that those drug dealers are also addicted to drugs themselves? No, 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 uh, no. Um, they are they are addicted to money, not drugs. They are they are they see what that does, right? So they they don't. So they're mo making shoot. profit by selling this poison to everyone else. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. yeah. Right, uh, but I see in the television that sometimes the they catch they catch uh, boats. Um, Portugal is co covered by river, and I believe they come from boats from other countries, from organized uh, gangs. I believe. Yeah, do you think organized gangs within Europe, or where are they from? Uh, I don't know. Mm. I think that they come from Colombia, but they pass from from Europe. And these exactly. people that are selling, are they, uh, they are Portuguese people? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. 
And the ones that are mainly the drug users, are they Portuguese people or are they mm, foreigners? Or yeah, they, are what? Portuguese. they are Portuguese, yeah. Use one day, um, friends t tell them to, to try. And then most people that are users now uh, have, didn't uh, have the chance to, to get out of there. It's very difficult to to leave the drug, uh, so they they stay there. They, they stay there. They're homeless, and that's it. Okay, so, so they become home, they become homeless. Uh, they're Portuguese. They become homeless because the lack of uh, support and help from from the 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 health institutions. Yeah, but we we don't have the help. Uh, in my case. I have a family, and, and my drug isn't like fentanyl. Fentanyl, I, I believe that's horrible. So Portugal does not have help to uh, to bring people off of drugs? There are institutions, but um, people stay there for years, for years, for years, and we, can, we don't see nothing. No? So no result. There's no... Exactly, yeah. But there are many, uh, don't, I don't know how to say in English, uh, communities, uh, clinics, uh, rehabs, there are many, many, many. And they, as you say, they get a lot, a lot of money. But the the thing is, they don't help. Uh, they We don't see results. That's okay. it. So people are not leaving their addiction, even with all those clinics? No, no, no. Yeah. No. So the government throws money at it and, and no result. Um, would you, uh, uh, seeing the damage that's done, Mm. Would you be for a government program that maybe takes all, like, for example, would shut down very harshly all of the supply of drugs and also would have a really good quality program where they would say to you, hey, uh, yeah. um, we, you must come off of illegal drugs. We will help you come off, but we will subsidize you for like the next three years, your, your rent. Uh, we will help you yeah. to get a better job, uh, more education. Would you, would you like that or no? Of course, of course. Uh, in fact, in, I think that in Brazil, uh, it, uh, there's a thing now that's called the invo uh, involuntary um, internation. I don't know it's, if it's correct. Did you understand? Yes. They put in people in rehab, yeah. even if they don't want. There, there is a law uh, in Brazil, and I believe that's already done. And I think that uh, I, but I believe that this is one thing that will, would help us, as you say, um, put people in rehab. And of course, uh, the supply has to end. I don't know how could this be done. But yes, I believe this could work. Yes. But, but the question here is, how do you end supply? How do you put supply to zero? That's very, very difficult. If you end uh, one, uh, one place here that sells drugs, immediately there is another one. It's it, very, very it all difficult. comes down to laws and the resolve of politicians. There are many countries okay. in the world where they have shut down supply to near zero. Singapore, China, uh, there are in fact 40 countries that uh, believe that it's, it's so dangerous for anyone to be on such drugs and they don't want all the young people to be on these drugs so, so they will have very long-term jail sentences or have yeah. capital punishment where they kill the dealers. Yeah, like Philippines, right? Philippines, yes. I they should shoot them. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and it yeah, works. I believe that, yeah. I go to Singapore one, at least once a year and it's a beautiful place. There's, there's you know, people are very happy. People have families. Uh, and and if you, I asked, I said, wait, I want to get by some illegal drugs. <laughs> and, and they were, oh, very no, cool. don't even talk about it, please. <laughs> That's very good. Uh, I hope someday Portugal will be like that. I really do. I, I have a daughter of uh, four years and I, I am very afraid for for the future, you know. Uh, so I you really think would the current like environment that Portugal has is not good for your daughter? It's not, it's not, it's not. So I really hope this one day uh, changes and I really hope you can do what you want to do 